here I am trying to combine 10 lines I have 10 lines here if you can remember earlier we we did some 3d and this we are the four lines I use one two three four because they're literally parallel okay so you see what I mean the lines are from this L S L S L S to L E so the lines go from north northwest to south east northwest to south east northwest to south so these lines um didn't make a a good parallel line so approximately some of these these ones are approximately parallel but still not good enough these are not so bad then this is what i'm working with okay so these are the four lines line five six and seven line line five six seven eight which i used for the previous two tutorials so um but i want to combine the whole ten lines okay and uh, and you see that they didn't all start at the same they didn't all start uh on and even that the whole lines started like this you know spread like this and all just coming from this point and it's all starting from one straight line this way and they're all going down towards the southeast it would have been better but now the this one started D, this one went down to D, this one went up to D, this one started this way, this one started that way, okay? So there should have been 10, 9, here, 8, here, 7, 6, 5, and so on. So when you do that, you now have uh, a, a good line to work with for your 3D model. So we are going to go back to our combine our parallel lines. So but then Remember they are not all parallel. So these distances I I estimated it estimated the distance between here and here is uh, is 40 meters okay relative to the line relative to the line I the length of these lines are 240 meters so I assume that from here to here is 40 meters and from here to here is um, is 50 meters okay I took somewhere here 50 meters of energy is 30, energy is 30, energy is 20, and so that's how I got this. So you add all those distances, collectively it arrived at 280 meters apart. So we combine them, we combine them, and we call them combine 3D 1 to 10. Combine 3D 1 to 10. So you close. So before we work on that we you find out that we need to arrange their stats so that they start at approximately the same um, um, line okay so that our lines will be straight so we're going to choose take um, modify a little coordinates modify this very, very complex uh, 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 process in order to um, make it look like what is obtainable in the field experiment so we go to tools modify a little code so you read your data your data is combined 3d 1 to 10 so it's it brings in all the data points that you have okay it brings all the data points that you have but this is a very very arduous work but i'll just show you the basic and then uh pause the video and when i'm done i'll show you the finished work so but let me show you how this thing is now okay now now this is what i mean okay let's say these are our parallel lines and this is line 10 this is line 9 line 7 line, line 8 7 6 and 5 okay i'll see that they are not starting they are supposed to start at 0 at x equals to 0 okay but you see some are starting at this point some started at this point some started at this point 
why this started at this point okay so you see but in order for us to uh, make our model realistic we need to adjust every point to their to their uh, right position so this one should start here from the model this should start here from the model this should start here from the model this should start here from the model to start at this point and why this should start at this point instead of all of them starting at the same point which is not what we can see on this map okay which is not what we can see on this map they didn't all start at the same uh, at, at x axis equals to zero okay they didn't all start at the same point so we have to adjust them okay you can shift the start of this one to this point shift the start of this one take this one to be the zero okay the one at the x equals to zero then take this one to be maybe s equals to 50 take this one to s equals to 40 take this one to s maybe s equals to uh 20 okay all right but then they call that to the start of this uh then so um I hope you understand but why when i start uh adjusting them on my uh, on my software the agi looks like when i uploaded the data okay let me do it again let me upload the data again read upload the data of those 10 lines this data of those 10 lines so open it comes in this one so just do as if you zoomed on your uh, on your mouse and then, then it's issue my mouse is playing with me so now i this is all those lines okay so you see that this line this second line or according to the according to the survey the ninth line this line now have to start somewhere here not here so it has to start somewhere so this is what i want us to achieve now so we're going to adjust it by 60 meters or by 50 meters so it's going to go uh 10 20 30 40 50 60 is going to start from somewhere at this point okay so that's what we're going to do in these two modify electric coordinates so you read the data import the data into this uh, window import the data the data is in okay slide up to the top now paste paste this old data into the new so i can now change it at this point so this is the second line remember too that all these zeros signify all the let's put the screen so i can see what i'm doing so this is the second line and the second line is at 40 remember that we give it is of 40 meters from here to here and it's also 50 meters from here to here so at 40 you see it so at everything that happens at 40 everything that happens at 40 has to do with the second line this is the 40 uh, the 40 marker in the y axis so everything that has to do with 40 is talking about the second line so every 40 you see down is the second line okay so all the 40s in the second line i'm going to add 50s to them i'm going to add 50 to their s coordinates to their s coordinates to their s coordinates don't forget we are adding 50 to all the s coordinates so we add um is it 50 or 60 that we want to use because we are we are using uh um we are using 60 we are using 60 not 50 so 0 plus 60 is 60 go here 10 plus 60 is 70 so you're adding 10 10 now okay so everything has shifted by by 50 meters so if this is 50 now this is 70 okay so they will still maintain the same 10 10 meters different so but you see now what was 10 is now 70 so that means that is 60 meters different so what is 20 here now becomes 80 remember this is the 40 meters okay scroll down you can go to the next 40 meters what is the last one is 80 the next one is 90 so just like this all the 40s i'm going to change them last one is 90 this one is 100 
100 good next 40 is what is this can be tedious 110 sorry 110 go to the next 40 120 go to the next 40 130 go to the next 40 140 go to the next 40 150 go to the next 40 160 oh there's no mistake 140 150 160 okay go to the next 40 uh go to the next 40 170 you have to be careful to avoid error go to the next 40 180 so we are changing the coordinates go to the next 40 go to the next 40 you have uh, last one was 180 this one is 190 go to the next 40 you have to avoid. Go to the next 40. Go next 40. We have. Go next 40. We have 180. Okay, go to next 40. We have 210. Yeah, 210. 210. 210. 210. Yes, 210. Go to next 40. We have 220. Go to next 40. We have. Sometimes you need somebody who cheat so you don't make mistakes. So the person can guide you. If you don't make mistakes. So let's go to 240. If I make a mistake now, there's nobody to tell me that. Unless I start from the beginning again to question. 250. Go to the next 40. 260. Go to the next 40. 70 right 70 go to next 40 to 80 go to the next 40 go to next 40 to 90 go to next 40 turn right you notice here that that um Okay, notice that there is no zero. This one, this zero disappeared at this point, so um, we are focusing on 40. Something caused this zero to disappear because when you look at here, the zero line, the line at zero y mark is has no end, so there is no zero. So it started reading from 40, so that's why you see 40 here, and this is zero. Okay. So all these coordinates are very very good. And that's the last one. Okay. So then we go up again. We have adjusted all the all the forties. That's the second line, which is at at 40 meters. Okay. Now at 90 meters, this is 90, right? Okay. It's showing like 30, but 90. The next one is 90, okay? You see, it's very very close to next three. At 90 meters, let's look at our image. This is where it started from. So let's call it, let's call it, we call this one 60, let's call this one 40. Okay, let's call it 40. Let's say it started somewhere here from this one. So let's call it 40. So we're going to add 40 meters because we assume that everything is starting from this place. So now we are going to shift it by 40 meters. Okay, so let's shift, let's shift this by 40 meters. Okay. It is good to measure distance on Google and using approximate. So I'm adding 40 meters to all to everything. I'm adding 40 meters to everything. So add 40 here. 40 plus 0 is 40. Okay. To so every 90, remember it's the top line now. To so every 90, add 40 meters. Every 90, add 40 meters. So this, add 40 meters, which is 50. Okay. 60. Oh Lord, I need, I need a guide, someone that can help me in case I make a mistake. The next 90 you have 70 so you have a lot of numbers in your in your face and then uh, they can confuse you if you are not careful 70 to the next 90 we have to the next 90 we have this one is 90 so to the next 90 you have 100 okay be careful let's go back again just kind of 40 
out of 40, you have 50, out of 50, you have 60, the next 90, out of 60, you have next 90, 70, out of 70, the next 90 is 80. You see, I made a mistake. So, you see, that's what you have to be careful. It's 80. 80. God help me. 80, out of the next 90, you should have 90 now. Okay? The last 90 was 80, so this, this next one should be 90. Okay? 90. And to the next 90, remember we're having 40 meters, so the next 90 is 100, okay? So if you have uh, 100 to 60, you have, you have, you have 100, okay? The last 90 is 90, so this is 100. Okay, so we keep going to the next 90, 110. Next 90, 110. 110. Next 90, 120. 120. Next 90, 130. 130. 130. Next 90 will be 140. 140. Next 90 will be 150, right? 150. Next 90 will be 160. 160. Next 90 will be 170. 170. Next 90 will be 180. 180. Next 90 will be 190. 190. Next 90 should be 200. 200. Next 90 should be 10. Next 90 should be 220. 220. Next 90 should be 230. 230. Next 90 should be. Next 90 should be 240, right? The next 90 should be 250, right? 250. 250. Next 90 should be 260. 260. Next 90 should be 270. Okay, I'm going to stop you a bit. After everything, I'll show you the final episode. So, that's it.